Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, James Blackwell here and today I've got a very special guest uh, that I'm interviewing and it's actually one of my members of uh, the Recruit Accelerator program and welcome Sabida. So if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and your business and what is your niche? Yes, well thank you for inviting me and um, my niche is multilingual. So I help companies with multilingual uh, sales and support agents or account managers uh, in the Netherlands and um, yeah, I'm based in Barcelona, so I think I will also uh, acquire a few more clients in uh, Spain, but for now I'm focused on the Netherlands. Yeah, because I think like, uh, I know obviously with uh, everything that's happened in the world at the moment, you live in Barcelona, but at the minute you're still in the Netherlands until you can uh, travel again, yeah? Yeah, that's true. So this Friday I'm uh, going back hopefully and then... Uh, I uh, will be uh, based in Barcelona again. Awesome. So, Zoo, I think like the first thing is going to be just to like tell all of the viewers like how did you actually get started in recruitment? How I got started in recruitment? Um, a few years ago, I started at a very big agency, and that was my first experience uh, with recruitment. And it was really funny because they were like only using uh, old fashioned uh, techniques. So for example, my colleagues did not even have LinkedIn and I was like really obsessed by recruitment. So yeah, I was like always, yeah, I don't know, like watching YouTube tutorials, like how I could be like the best recruiter. Uh, but in an agency, it's like really so different than when you work, for example, for an executive search firm. So after this agency, I switched to an executive uh, search firm. And then uh, after that uh, experience, I was about to start an agency with someone else uh, in engineering. And after that experience, I decided to uh, start my own agency. So um, Yeah, good for you. So <laughs> how many uh, years experience do you have as a recruiter? As a recruiter, uh, almost five, I think, yeah five years experience. Cool. Have you always been like entrepreneurial and want to start your own business or did this just suddenly mm -hmm. Well, when I was younger, <laughs> I was like always having these businesses. So I was, for example, yeah, buying candy at the candy shop and then I was like reselling it uh, at school, but not, and I, I, I never really had like a real, real business. Like I always had like these little businesses when I was younger. Um, but I think in one way I always, yeah, I think I always had this entrepreneurial mindset because at, in my first job, I was responsible for running uh, my own business unit and I tripled the turnover by myself. Yeah. Because I was like using new techniques all the time. So in that way, yes, but yeah. Awesome. So what, if you remember back when you first started your agency, which was like, a few months ago now like what was that situation like like how don't like how did you feel at that time how i felt at that time um i think mixed feelings because on one hand i was like yeah i already have so much uh, experience in recruitment so i'm pretty sure that i can start my own agency as well but it's so different like you, you cannot compare like being employed as a recruiter or like really starting your own business so I think mixed feelings because on one hand, yeah, I also had the feeling that I was like a bit stuck and especially like with the current events. Um, so yeah, yeah, really a mi mixed feelings between, uh, I think if, if you're already in recruitment then you maybe think that you can try to figure out everything by yourself or I think in general, if you start a business, you think like, oh, I can, yeah, figure out everything by myself, but yeah. I think if you want to be like a top performer, then you should always like have a mentor and train and be with like-minded people. So um, that's uh, why I, uh, yeah, I, I joined the program. Cool. So talk me through like when we first met, what were your, what was the key challenge for you? Like what, what sort of problems did you have? Yeah, so my biggest problem was actually uh, because I started right before the current events. So my biggest problem was actually the client, yeah, to acquire new clients. 
And I also think the mindset, because especially with the current events, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really had the feeling that maybe it was not the right timing anymore to continue with my business. Um, so that was, yeah, that was actually my biggest struggle. And um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's most business owners that start in recruitment, they struggle with the client acquisition side and yeah. like really defining their niche in terms of how they build it out and how they structure things, um, which is probably one of the key areas. And what would you say like in terms of like you probably two to three biggest wins have been since you joined the program? Mm, well, my biggest win is... Um... Well, I had like six new clients in six weeks and also a new hiring and one really big account client. And yeah, I think another win is really the mindset uh, because this is also the reason why I joined the program because yeah, it's also all about the mindset. And yeah, I think that's like my, my biggest win because yeah, we really learn a lot about the way you should and yeah for example I'm really like into uh, mindfulness and like in the um, training you also show us that you really should have like a vision on the long term but then in the end you should like focus every day on what's what's important to do that day so you actually have to be like really mindful with like a long-term vision and that is so important uh, to me like I learned so much because of that so I think those are the three yeah uh, Mm. three main things that I learned and it's interesting as, as entrepreneurs and as you grow and reinvent yourself like the biggest thing is mindset uh, yeah been, like a lot of people want tactics which are great as as you've seen like getting six clients in six weeks was brilliant through the client acquisition system and like what was it like because I know you've just shared recently in the Facebook group as well you're one of you what I would call your dream 100 clients that yeah. we built um where you're getting a lot of repeat business like how has that made you feel tell me more about that client yeah well how does it make me feel well i think like if you just start your business you're of course you have of course it's like a little bit scary not to know if if you have money by the end of uh, next month mm -hmm. and so with this uh so with this client i actually have a stable income like i have a stable turnover i know that i will have a turnover for the following months. And so this makes me like, this, yeah, makes me feel super secure so I can really focus on the business and I do not get distracted by, yeah, thoughts about, you know, like anxiety thoughts that you have if you just start out, which is normal. Um, and I think like, yeah, in general in this program, you really learn that it's not all about, that it's not like hard work plus yeah, being lucky, but it's like hard work plus uh, a certain formula that you need to apply. And then you just know there's always going to be a client out there wanting to work with you. And yeah, so now I have this uh, big account client and um, yeah, this, because of this uh, client, I can focus on uh, gaining new business and grow my agency. Yeah, it's, and it's awesome because like when you get that client that is really bought into you and uses you exclusively and gives you multiple roles, yeah. like it gives you a sense of more freedom, doesn't it? And it relaxes you more that way. You're not stressed, always trying to go out when you clients, you know, you've got that to fall back exactly. on. Exactly. Because normally if you're employed, you know, you have your salary by the end of the month. Mm. And now you also have, yeah, you just also know that you will have your turnover like, by yeah. the following yeah. months, which is even better. So that's awesome. So talk me through, like, I'm sure people are interested to hear, like when you were, when you first approached me, I remember that, like you only had a certain amount that you could invest in yourself and your business. Like how, how did that make you feel? Because like, obviously it's when you've invested in something, it is a significant cost to get through that barrier. But what would you say to someone that was like on the fence of like investing in themselves and why should they? If you don't invest in yourself, then actually I'd also do not see how you can grow. And I think this is with everything, like you should always, yeah, if you want to see like bigger results, you should like always invest. And yeah, I know it's maybe a bit scary to invest because maybe some people see it as like a big, like a risk that you take if you invest yeah, in yourself. 
But actually for me, if I didn't invest in myself, it would have been a bigger risk because then I would not have yeah, this business by now. So, and I think there's always a reason not to do it. And also like you told me, like you should really train on that part of your brain, you know, that is like, because there's always, yeah, a reason not to do it, but should, you should like really focus on that other part of your brain, especially if you, yeah, want to make it in business. So that's what I would say, like, yeah, you should just, if you want to grow, you should really, really invest in yourself. Yeah, and it's, it's a really interesting point. A lot of people struggle with that in terms of the doubt, the fear, everything creeps in where people yeah. are told not to do things and conform to normality. But as entrepreneurs and business owners, when you're growing, you need to be against the grain and go against exactly. what conforms in society in a way. And it goes against a lot of like people's beliefs, but you need to surround yourself with like-minded peers, which is interesting. Like, how did you find uh, having that support infrastructure, like in the peer group and like the your weekly calls, etc. Like, have you found value in that too? Oh yeah, a lot. There's one uh, student from the, uh, in the program. Like, we talk every day, and we also have calls every Monday and Friday. So oh, yeah. we yeah <laughs> that's really so good it's like as if i have a colleague yeah. and so on monday we tell each other okay this is going to be my goal and so on friday we uh yeah we actually have like the same sort of call and we talk like almost every day and this is so good like yeah i i, I think this is like one of the for me the biggest reasons to join the program because like i should also say uh, you're a product of the five people you're yeah most surrounded with and it's so true and for me like yeah it's really super important to have like uh, another co-worker and yeah who's also like starting his own business so um that's great because like accountability is important so having an accountability yeah. port um an accountability partner in the group where yeah. You're pushing each other on and you're giving each other confidence, but then someone you can confide in when you have like a challenge or a roadblock and and it's it's exactly. really important to have that. Like I call that like like um with uh I still have a call with uh, a guy called Andre who I met at a previous mastermind years ago and we've been friends ever since and we attend different programs, but we always have like calls uh catching up and even though we're exactly. in different business environments, it's important because we all keep chasing towards what we want to do and grow and evolve, but again, you are who you surround yourself with. And sometimes we're not in the luxury of an environment where wherever you live, that you're surrounded by five other like successful people or millionaires or people with the same mindset. So having, ha having that support in a group where you can find someone there and have those million dollar calls with someone exactly. um, because it only takes like one like golden nugget or one bit of advice where someone sees something in you or gives you some advice that worked for them that doesn't work for you and vice versa yeah. because you learn more by giving as well so like you helping that other person helps you propel as well yeah and also like because it can be like a roller coaster of different emotions and yeah it's just so good if you have like at least one person you're close with and you can share everything and yeah so that's really yeah i'm really that's yeah Really, uh, I'm, I'm really happy uh, that I joined this program and that I met this person. Great. So would you say like you've made quite a transformation from where you were without the program and where you were with the business then to where you are now? What would you say yeah. the transformation has been for you, Zoo? Everything. So like I already said, like my mindset. So I really, I feel as if I'm a different person now. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I kind of really, I cannot compare. It's really uh, a big life changer for me. And business wise, I, yeah, because now I really, I have like, okay, you know, I, it's still my first year, <clears throat> but I have the feeling that I have a stable agency right now. And so, yeah, I actually, I cannot describe in words how much uh, I changed. And also I learned like so many big life lessons such as that you should never like compare, like focus on yourself and compare yourself with others. But when you just start your business, you always think like, okay, I should uh, see what my competitors are doing, but like you should not do this in life and also not in business. And also, yeah, I already told you about like being mindful. And uh, also what I learned is that you should really focus on what's possible. 
and don't focus on the things that are not possible and especially with these current events um because yeah i mean these are like tough times and in sales you always have to focus on the yeses and maybe now you have yeah little yeses but they're still out there those yeses and yeah i think that's what i really learned from this program awesome and do you want to share where do you want to be in 12 months time so we talk around in the program as well of like your future self so the current yeah. person you are and who you want to evolve to and uh I know we shared uh, the interview video about Matthew McConaughey when he accepted his award and who his hero was and it's his self in 10 years time. And then once he gets there, then it's like himself in another five years time. And we always striving towards improving and growing as a person and evolving and not comparing ourselves to others. Like we compare ourselves to our future self of where you want to be and where you, where you've came from. And that's the biggest, like, growth hurdle that you want to overcome is like compare yourself to who you were a year ago and two years ago and where you want to be like yeah. not not what anyone else wants to be what you want to be is important but yeah so what would you say would be where, where do you want to be in the next 12 months in terms of your agency what are the the main things that you want to achieve okay so this is actually a good question <laughs> but so yeah in in 12 months then uh I hope that I can also be like some sort of mentor, but then for my for my team. So yeah, on another way, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think I in 12 months, then I even learned more than I did over the last couple of three months. So I cannot even imagine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I think in in like 12 months, I have an agency that's even. Uh, yeah. I. I, I think that I will have like a bigger remote team than I have now and that I'm looking forward to hire uh, my first, uh, yeah, my first employees and be a mentor for my future employees. Awesome. So what, in terms of your model, obviously we teach around like the different systems, building the assets to give you leverage, more time, freedom and money. Are you wanting to have an office in the agency or do you want to have a remote team? Like how do you want to structure it moving forward? Mm, no, I want to have an office. Um, yeah, because yeah, I really want to. I really see myself doing this for like the next couple of years, and I want to get bigger and learn more, and yeah, maybe even start you know like another niche within multilingual for another country. Maybe I mean there are so many possibilities, and especially when you just start your business, it's like learning a new language. Like it opens up so many new worlds. So yeah, I already have like these things in mind, like maybe I can start this or that, or yeah, maybe do a, a partnership. So awesome. yeah. Exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing you progress in the journey, Zoo. So thank you so much for sharing your journey. And uh, for everyone listening, um, if you're interested in joining the Recruiter Accelerator program and uh, doing something like Sabida and how she's achieved uh, what she's done in her business, uh, obviously feel free to click the link below and uh, schedule a call with myself. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you soon. And thanks very much, Sabida.